Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper with a video about my HF dipole antenna here at the homestead. We've had a pretty windy weekend here and the trees have been swaying quite a bit so I decided to put a little stress release in there on the antenna and there's the insulator for the end of the dipole. Of course it's 550 cord which comes down to a storm door spring so when the tree swings back and forth that I'm tied off to, there's a little give in the line. The spring will actually absorb some of that shock from its movement. And we also changed the position of the antenna so my radiation pattern, instead of being east and west, is actually north and south so I can do better on the east coast of the United States here. And I have this antenna lowered now, but it's actually running up and tied off in that tree. And with the wind this weekend, it's been blowing pretty hard and putting some stress on the antenna. So I went to Home Depot, got this store dorm spring here, and tied that in there with the 550 cord. And we're going to go ahead and pull that back up. You can actually see the wind blowing now. And that should help take some of the stress off the antenna. And we're going to go ahead and also solder up the dipole connections as well, because I didn't do that when I put this antenna up a couple weeks ago. So we'll pause here and I'll show you where we're going to solder, and we'll get this antenna up. Well, we got the end soldered there. It doesn't all have to be soldered, but it needs a good base of solder to make sure you have a good electrical connection. We'll go ahead and get this antenna pulled up. Okay guys, I'm not sure if you can see that, but the dipole is tied off to the chimney. And that's temporary right now. I need to get a, a pulley for up there. And it runs across here. I'm trying to keep this in frame and I apologize. I can't really see it too well in the eyepiece. And you should be able to see the coax here coming up. That goes to that dipole head there and out to that tree in the backyard. And as you can see, the wind is blowing and that tree is swaying. And that storm door spring should be absorbing that sway to reduce the stress placed on the dipole head right there and the cable itself. So that was the goal here today was to put a little stress relief in there while the wind blows these trees around. And again, as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with a dipole maintenance video.